shot and miss you and hit with the, hit to the elbow and you know, you know, people get the nose broke, get the eye cuts and all that. But I never thought that someone would bite my ear. <laughs> that was just that you know that was man that was that really 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 shocked me and you know and I really was gonna bite him back because I heard uh, the guy. The guy, uh, Tim Hallmark, my corner guy, said, Evander, keep your mind on the Lord. And, and when he said that, that kind of made me realize how many times, you know, as a kid, I used to get a lot of whoopings. I used to get about three whoopings a day mm. because my grandmother used to tell me, Revenge is the Lord. They will always catch me trying to get back after what somebody had done to me. Right. And, and I got so many whoopings going, trying to, trying to, trying to get back, get somebody back from what they've done to me. They, they always don't catch that second person. They may not catch the first one, but they catch it. They catch the person who do it second. So true. It's amazing. I mean, I really do. That what you said it. I think you saved the sport of boxing with the way you handled that whole situation. Because if it went the other way, I mean that that would have been pretty crazy. Before I let you go here, I, I got got to start with two great fighters. The fight everyone's talking about, obviously Mayweather and Pacquiao, it's finally here. Two great fighters. You said that these guys kind of have two completely different styles. Can you tell me what each of their styles is like? Start with Floyd. With Mayweather, he's a counterpuncher. It may be one of the gifts of fighters that ever fought. And, you know, he, he's very knowledgeable. And, and, you know, he's just one of them guys who's like he can't be beat. But, uh, you know, he, he's, he's fighting this guy who, who's so aggressive. He's so aggressive. And, and I guess the only difference would be because when a guy that is as aggressive as that Pacquiao, it, you know, he going to catch it. Mm. And then now it's going to come down to what happened if he do catch Floyd. And, and they find that Floyd is stronger than him. You know, Floyd's a, a, a bigger. Right. And, uh, and, and, and it could be different. So, But this is something that don't no one know. But if, if Floyd is not... Floyd is not uh, the strongest. Then it, 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 you know, it's gonna be a tough fight. Someone is, someone, you know, is. I think this could be a fight that someone gets stopped, and and they're not. But you know, if it's if it go to distance, you think that Floyd Floyd may win. Call uh, Floyd has always been quicker. Right. But on the on the great is another great thing that Pacquiao do. He do a lot of punches. He's a guy that so. I uh, hadn't been nobody who throw more punches than him at a fight. So that means that if if you be, you counter punching, that means that he 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 collected a lot of punches. So and so if he is actually go to the, go to a distance, that means that he could possibly be ahead because he throw that many punches. Yeah. And, but you know when but you know when but when you look at when you at you look at smart smart the type of person who's always been able to make adjustments. And so, would he ever be make this type of adjustment or not? You you, you don't know. And and they both good fighters. You know, both come to win. And and one thing that I know, Floyd Mayweather has always been able to make adjustment. And you know, and now he is this day. Can he make it? And and that's what fighters fights are made made about people who give they all. And uh, and both of the fighters give their own, and I think it's going to be a terrific fight because I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be there. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Well, I have you. What do you think's happened to the heavyweight division? You got all the attention on these guys, but, I mean, that used to be the division that got all the attention. It's part of the reason you became a heavyweight. What do you think happened? In the game, you know, I remember when it was Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis was the guy that was, you know, that the whole world loved. Yeah. And you know, and, and, and then after Joe Lewis, it took a long time. It became Ali. Then after Ali, it died. Then all of a sudden, Mike Tyson, mm. myself, Lennox Lewis, you know, uh, you know, all, you know, the Buster Douglas, you know, I, all of a sudden, it, 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 it's almost like the, the, the lighter weight people always carried the game of boxing. And yet, and the big guy showed up, Eric Nine did. You know, it's, if you look back and you look for all the, the what what you know, the, the, the weight division that was always good, it was smaller guys. You know, you talk about lightweights, weatherweight, middleweights. Yeah. You know, I, I super middle, light heavy. You know, I did big guys, and you know, they just they had their time when they came. They they come and go. They come and go. 
Well, I'm Junior Lane. It's pretty much what life is all about. This world <laughs> run by. This world run by people who apply what they know. And you find that more small, smaller people apply what, more of what they know than, than big people. This has been awesome. Amanda, you are the real deal. Thank you so much for coming on Terrific Talk. Everybody, go make sure to see Vander's new documentary out. It's called Champs. Really good. Mike Tyson, Bernard Hopkins, really good documentary. Go check that out. Go see Vander knock out Mitt Romney in Salt Lake City on May 15th for a great cause. Vander, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you.